today is my first presentation uh, on YouTube. That's why I would like to introduce myself as a, a Swish Marsani Sprint National Coach for a period of 10 years. During these 10 years, I, my athletes created numerous national records in sprints in 100 meter men, 10.30 by Abdul Zim Qureshi, in 100 meter, 4 into 100 meter men at Commonwealth Games. My team won a bronze medal and created a new national record of 38.89 seconds. That record still stands. Apart from this, I trained 400 meter women who ran the Olympics final. Uh, uh, I, would, to, mein, I would like to uh, tell you my research and uh, I would like to guide you how a sprinters should train during uh, their microcycle, a single uh, competition phase, like uh, you know, how they should go in off-season, mid-season, competition season. Uh, they, they are diff coaches are uh, coaches are using different sequential trainings, but the most effective training uh, which I have experienced is suppose th there are three periods, introductory period, strength building period and competition, uh, pre-competition phase. In introductory phase, if you do mixed type of training, mixed means barbell training, jumps, throws, if you do mixed training, in introductory phase, strength building phase and competition, pre-competition phase, you are going to land up here. If you are going to do first, अगर पहले पांच छह वीक आप जंप ट्रेनिंग करते हो, followed by barbell training, followed by barbell barbell training, you are going to land here. और अगर आप जंप ट्रेनिंग, जंप ट्रेनिंग और जंप ट्रेनिंग इस सीक्वेंस में ट्रेनिंग कराते हो, do introductory phase, strength building phase और pre competition में, you are going to land here. The best uh, sequence which I have researched uh, in the 30 years of my coaching career that I would like to explain to you. This is also one sequence. Shock training, it means prometry training followed by barbell training. You are going to land up here. Barbell training followed by shock training. You are going to land up here. If ये चित्र देखके हमें पता चलता है कि बारबर ट्रेनिंग के बाद अगर शॉक ट्रेनिंग करी जाए तो परफॉर्मेंस ज़्यादा इंप्रूव होगी एस कंपेयर्ड टू शॉक ट्रेनिंग फॉर बारबर ट्रेनिंग। What is the best sequence? In my next slide, I would like to explain you the sequence of developing explosive strength. In which sequence one should train so that he develop maximum explosive strength? and perform better in the competition. This is a sequence which I felt is best to train sprinters and track event runners. The best method of developing explosive strength. Jab bachche aapke paas aate hain to teen char week you should do lot of throws, short throw forward, backward along with other running activities, hurdle drills, and uh, your other flexibility, stretching, anatomical adaptation type of training. First phase may teach our after ball throws, forward, backward, so that overall body get conditioned. In, when you throw a ball forward, you activate, you, you condition your whole body. After this, the next four weeks, do a lot of low intensity, jumping exercises like hops for 30, 40, even 50 meters, then slow bonding for 40 meters, 50 meters, 60 meters, 
as per the individual's fitness, individual's uh, capacity. They, after this uh, seven, eight weeks of training, shift, by this time you are not using bundles. You are training, your training should be throw based, followed by jump based, a high volumetric, low intensity jump based training. Followed when your athlete is conditioned, then you uh, one should switch over to barbell training. For the four weeks plus four weeks. Four weeks means volumetric barbell, barbell training, clean press, bent press, high volumetric training with a low in intensity, high volume. Followed by next four weeks. Four weeks, it can be six weeks. Uh, according to your length, how much time you have to compete in a particular competition. After barbell, you should follow heavy lifts. After volumetric training, followed by four to six weeks of heavy lifts. During this phase, you require a lot of supplementation, a lot of recovery uh, methods. This is the phase where you should eat a lot of substances which give anabolic effect, protein, protein, amino, glutamine, glucosamine, as per your requirement of your uh, athletes. And this is, once the maximum strength is achieved, then it, uh, coaches or athletes should train just before five, six, four, five weeks before competition. A lot of plyometric training. A lot of specific jumps from the block. Some specific uh, hop and jump, uh, five bounds with speed bounds, 10 speed bounds, uh, as per your requirement of the event. 100 meter uh, sprinter needs uh, 10 bounds, five bounds, fast and flat. Uh, 400 meter sprinter may need 10 bounds, 15, 20 bounds, uh, maybe slightly lesser intensity. Uh, uh, if you train in this sequence, throws followed by jumps, followed by barbell, followed by volumetric barbell, followed by uh, high intensity, uh, heavy weight barbell, followed by shock. This way, if an athlete trains, he gets the best results. I have with this sequence, I have trained for 4 into 100 men at the before uh, Commonwealth Games and we created a national record that is 38.89 seconds and that record still stands. I personally propose you to train with this sequence to get outstanding results of your sprinters. More, uh, I'm going to give you some clips of uh, uh, jumping volumetric jumping here after this you can watch and some uh, shock training clips so that you can make out what is exactly volumetric jumping what is exactly shock training thank you very much